Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. First of all I'd like to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and hello to my regulars. In this video I'm going to be doing a long... <coughs> um, oh god, oh god it started already. I'm going to be doing a long stiletto set. Now this um, I have had a, one of my subscribers and she's requested from if I would do a set of grey nails so obviously I said yes last night and I told her that I would do it this morning so I am coming in with French grey at the tip I was going to give her a mention hi sapphire nails I hope you like this um, set sweetheart I hope you get some inspiration from it so I'm coming in with French grey and I'm just going to ombre this up the nail Keeping it nice and smooth, ready for my next colour to come down to. So that's French grey. Beautiful colour. Okay, I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to come over here now. <clears throat> On this nail, I am coming in with what is it called? Elephant. See, my brain's gone already. First thing in the morning. I'm just going to bring that down the nail and then fade it up. All these are all CJP coloured acrylics. And then I have got just one glitter acrylic which is called Hollow and that is from NTS. But everything else is CJP. My main um, core system, well acrylic system, is CJP. I think I've got nearly every single one of their colours now. But I've also got some other, other um, suppliers as well. But I'm just used to CJP now. So guys, so this is for one of my su subscribers. If there's anybody else out there who wants me to do a set of nails, then please just send me a message and I will put a set together for you. Any colour you like, because I think I've got every single colour out there. Okay, I'm just going to let that set up now. I'm going to come back to this nail. On this nail, I'm going to ombre with Elephant. I'm going to drain my bead. Put it on at the line. Just tap it in gently. Bring it down the nail. Gonna come in with a little bit more. Tap it in. Swipe it down. Then I'm just gonna come in with a little bit more of this um, French grey at the bottom. And just fade it up. Then we get the perfect ombre. Then I'm gonna do a three a three bead ombre on here. So I'm going to come over to this side. On this nail, I'm going to do a reverse smile line. So I'm just going to place the bead on, tap it in. And bring it down. Bring it down as far as you like and then by using the tip of your brush just correct that, that smile, bring in those sides. The other day this took me about 50 attempts, it was horrendous. I don't think we're going to be as bad as that today, hopefully. 
I'm using my um, Love by CJP brush today. I'm using a little tiny brush. Okay, I'm going to come in with my cuticle bead now. Just to build that wall up. Just place it on at the cuticle, tilt in your finger down, just tap it in, and then just stroke it down. Same again, tap it in, stroke it down. And bring round that wall. It's going to come in with a fraction more. Just to give it a little bit more height. Perfect. That's better now. And we'll just bring that smile around. Okay, I'm going to let that set. I'm going to come back to this nail now, and then I'm going to come in now with, it's called Silver Hollow. No, it's not. It's called Hollow. Sorry, not Silver Hollow. Hollow from um, NCS. And then I'm just going to bring this down the nail. And while that is still damp, I'm going to come in with this silver glitter and just also put this on and also some um, some of these hexagons and these are from hmm smiler's glitter store this one and it's called silver luster and then the other one that I used um, that is from glitter at uh, the glitter fairy and it's called metallic multicut silver so I'm just going to bring that down the nail as well just tap it into place wherever you want it oh, that looks gorgeous how beautiful does that look beautiful okay I'm going to come over to this side and then I am going to come in with some of this birthday suit and we're just going to ombre this down because we're going to come in with a glitter swoosh a Misha special that's me that's my nickname for my husband to me is Misha because it's Michelle he calls me little Mish because I'm small compared to him <laughs> Push it up into that cuticle as far as you can go without touching. Just bring it down the nail. Watch those sides. <clears throat> Just going to come in with a little bit more. Okay, and while that is still wet, I'm going to be coming in with some of these, some of this um, Silver Luster from Smiler's Glitter Store. Just bring it down in a swoosh. <coughs> Excuse me, so I'm going to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. 
made a tickle tickle in my throat okay bring it down and then bring it back up so it looks like an s sort of it's like a broken s isn't it parts missing Okay, I'm going to allow that to set. That is stunning, isn't it? <coughs> I'll leave that a few more minutes. It's not quite ready. Okay, on this one, I am coming in with an elephant at the cuticle. To tap it into the cuticle and bring it down. I'm just going to put a little bit more in. I'm going to do a marble on this nail using all the colours that I've just been using. So we're going to come in with French grey birthday suit and card was it called elephant bit of hollow and some snow white get my brush to a nice sharp point Just run it up and down the nail. I'm just going to come in with a tiny bit of that to run through it. And then the same again. Nice wet beads. a little bit too wet just going to see if I can run it back up okay and while that is still damp I'm going to come in with a tiny little bit of this hollow just to break it up a bit just pat it down okay and then at the top here again I'm going to do the same just going to bring it round not mess about with it too much then it doesn't go into a mush okay and we'll leave that one now that's stunning Love that. Okay, we're going to be coming in with. Oh, drop my bead. Just bear with me a second. I'm going to do a full nail of elephant. 
I'm going to place it on, tap it into the cuticle and then just bring it down. Hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Let me know, guys, when you're thinking if, well, if you have got a salon, when you're thinking of going back to work. I'm actually looking at uh, the 4th of July, all being well. But we'll just see. I've told my clients I'm open to reopen if the government say so. But, um, like I say, it just depends on Boris Johnson, see what he has to say. Okay, I'm going to come down here now with a wash of this um, hollow. Just bring it down on a slant. And then also dip in to this um, silver luster as well. Okay, and then just place it on where you feel like you can put it. It's gorgeous, these two colors together. I love them, so sparkly. Okay, I just wanted it going down one side. Okay, on this nail, I'm just going to come in with a tiny bit of clear and see if I can just pick some of this, some of these hexagons up from this um, silver luster and just place them random, <clears throat> place them randomly on this nail. Just to really break it up, wasn't it? They're um, holographic, so when you turn your hand, absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm just going to file this now into nice crisp, nice crisp what? Nice crisp line. Keep your brush at your file nice and flush against that wall, nice and flat, and then just bring it round. Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then I'm just going to get my wet brush and just remove any dust. Oops. Why not that? Okay, now then I'm going to come in with French grey at the side and then just butt it right up into that wing. And then bring it round. And then same again up this side. And then just put it right up into that wing. Oh, 
oops one of my bristles has come out oh come here and then just bring it down the nail I'm just going to come in with a fraction more Okay, then I'm going to come in here with this silver hollow and just fade it up. And then I'm going to come in with some of this silver glitter over the top. And then now some of these holographic glitters. Okay, wonderful. What I'm going to do now is I am going to cap all these nails now and then we are ready for top coat. No, we're not. I'm going to top coat no I'm not oh god just give me a second let me think of what I need to say I'm gonna get my tracer loo brush right I'm going to cap these nails in crystal glass then we're ready for filing that's what I meant to say okay nice big bead making sure all that glitter is encapsulated drain the back of my bead place it on Fade it up and then walk the rest down the nail. Try and keep those sides nice and neat. And now I'm going to come in with my apex bead because these nails are so long that they need a good apex. done it okay I'm gonna come over to this side okay I'm gonna place it halfway down the nail because this is so long and wide that I need to make sure that I get every single bit of glitter encapsulated so I'm gonna do it in a few beads <clears throat> Don't forget guys, if there's anything you'd like me to um, create for you in a particular colour, just send me a message like um, Sapphire Nails did and obviously I'm creating it for her today. She just asked for a grey set, so I thought, right, I'll do that. And these are absolutely beautiful, I love them. I hope you like them, Sapphire Nails. Okay, I'm just going to do my apex. Okay, I'm going to come over to this one.
Okay, place the bead on, tap it into the cuticle area. And we're going to bring it down the nail. Tap it in. Walk it down the nail. Watching those sides because these nails are really thin with them being stiletto. Okay, I'm going to do my apex now. Just so want to put a tiny bit more on at the cuticle area. making sure all that glitter is encapsulated. I think these glitters look amazing with this with this colour. Okay, just a little bit more now for my apex. Okay, and then this one, the final nail to cap. Bring it all the way down to the bottom, making sure all that glitter is encapsulated even right at the end so that when you come to file, you don't file the glitter away. Okay, I'm just going to let those dry now. That looks a bit silly, but I need to just push it back in because it's actually come down. Brilliant. So I'm just going to put my lids on things and then we're ready for filing, guys. You know, I put the heated on in here because I felt a bit cold, but my God, it's roasting now. <laughs> I'm sweating. I think I need to turn that heating off, so just bear with me a second as well. 
I'll just run across so only two seconds away from where I'm sat. Just look at this glitter. How gorgeous is that? And then this is the silver one. Stunning. Okay, we're ready for filing now. So I'm going to come in with my 100 grit file as usual. Usual routine guys, starting off with the sidewall. If you don't want to watch this part guys, you can fast forward to the next section where it will be top coat time. So we do a sidewall up one side around the cuticle and down the other side. And then go down the barrel of the nail. Checking the nail, make sure it's even. And make sure that cuticle is so nice and flush. Okay, I'm going to come over to this one. Make sure that I'm in shot. I can't actually see my recording part because the um, the arm thing is in the way. It's like a recording box that's in the way, so you can't actually see where you are. Okay, so we'll go up this one side, across the cuticle area, and down the other side, and we'll go down the barrel of the nail. Checking from all angles to make sure that it's even. Exactly the same guys on all nails, so I'm just going to let you watch now. Okay, and then this final nail now, guys. And then we're going to be ready for file up. Uh, God, top coat.
Okay, we're just going to clean them up now and then we're ready. These are going to look amazing. I think grey and silver and this nude, they really look lovely together. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this tissue, get a fresh one. Okay, I'm going to come in with my Prep Spray Plus and give them a good spray so we can clean them up. Get my nail brush, give them a good clean. Get rid of any dust now. I hope you like this set guys. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I do videos on a daily basis every morning I do I do a set and it usually takes till the night time or early hours in the next morning to upload off my phone. I don't understand why it takes so long. Um, but yeah. I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel okay I'm gonna come in now with CJP time to shine tack free top gloss and put a nice thin layer on oh look how shiny that is I'm gonna give you a slow-mo in a minute you ready wow look how gorgeous that is stunning oops These are beautiful. And this marble is gorgeous. Look at that marble. Lovely. I hope you're happy with this set, Sapphire Nails. I absolutely love them and they are so pretty. Okay, and then the final nail. These are going to go into my lamp now guys for 60 seconds. If you're using a UV then it'll be 2 minutes. And when they come out I will give you the final reveal. Okay I'll just give a quick recap of what I've used like I usually do. Just passes on a bit of time while I'm waiting. Okay, so I've used crystal glass and I've also used birthday suit, snow white, elephant, French grey and then I also used NTS um, Hello, which is DDC24, the code. And that is from um, NTS and it's part of the Dreamcatcher acrylic. And then we used CJP Time to Shine Hema Free Top Gloss. I used um, CJP Monomer Ultra Adhesive. And I used uh, CJP Love by CJP Brush. And also my Tracy Lou size 12. Okay guys, these are coming out now. So I'm just going to use my... Glitter Bells Cuticle Oil This reminds me of holiday if, if we had smell -a vision This smells of coconut it Smells gorgeous I just want to say thank you so much for watching my channel guys I really do hope you enjoy it 
I absolutely love them and if you will subscribe to my channel I would be so grateful and there is the final result guys I hope you like this set take care and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye bye